What is happening guys, it's Spruce Goose here, and today I just wanted to make a quick video to show you a little move that'll help you make defenders miss in the open field and take your stick work to the next level. And that move is the stop and go. Now when you see it, you may call it a stutter step, but in the Madden community, we call it a stop and go. So first, I want to show you this in a game. This was from my stream last night over on twitch.tv slash TV if you're interested. And here we go. We're running with Eckler. We're going to get open field down the sideline. And you're going to see his user defender come in from the left side. He's going to click on. But that little hesitation we did completely jukes him out. And let's watch it a couple times. So we're just running. And you see, just for a second, we just hesitate. Just a second. We bring our speed mostly to a stop. And then we keep going. Hence the name Stop and Go. And we'd be in for the touchdown. If we don't do this, if we just keep running straight, he's going to use the sideline to... Uh, kind of box us in and he'll tackle us you know maybe on what the 10 or 15 yard line or something and that's gonna be it so this is such a powerful move it looks really simple guys but there's a little bit more to it than you might think it's not the most insane move in the world but you are gonna have to spend some time in practice mode really in offense only mode really getting used to this so that becomes muscle memory because if you mess it up you're gonna start running backwards and you're gonna lose yards and look kind of stupid in your game. But I'll show you guys one more time. Uh, once again, it is just a hesitation uh, that is really only going to work well against a user defender. It only worked there again because he clicked on, uh, but I was kind of anticipating that. And if you do that, you'll get some great touchdowns. So let's head over into practice mode and I'll show you guys how to do the stop and go. All right, guys, so we are in practice mode, in offense only mode, and here are the three steps you need to do in order to execute a successful stop and go. So step one is going to be take your finger completely off the sprint button. Step two is going to be to flick your left joystick in the direction opposite that you're running. So if you're running forward, you're gonna flip the joystick back. And step three is to hold down the sprint button again and push your left joystick in the direction that you're running. So if you were running forward initially, you'd be flicking the joystick back as step two and then forward again as step three. And so this is kind of how it works. And then we'll kind of break down each step individually. You know, so once again, uh, kind of as you guys saw in the game footage, uh, there's, you know, different subtleties in how much you can stop. Like you can come to a complete stop if you want, or you can do it as a really quick hesitation. Uh, you could just completely, you know, sit there and then sprint again, uh, depending on how you want to run it. I usually have it as a really, really quick hesitation, like I did on those last two right there. Uh, but real quick, guys, let's go through each step. Just super, super simple. So step one, take your finger off the sprint button. It sounds easy guys but you need to get your finger off okay off and that was actually the first thing i was doing wrong when i was trying this in games is i was getting my finger like if i'm holding down sprint like this i would have my finger like basically not pressing it but there was still a little bit of force on the sprint button and so in a game uh sometimes if i want to just make sure i do not screw it up and start running backwards i just get my finger completely off like pointed off the the sprint button completely like off okay off off and i know it looks a little bit extreme and once you get used to it uh you probably don't need to be that extreme but that's what i'm going to recommend to you guys at least at the start is make sure you exaggerate taking your finger off the sprint button because if you don't i'm telling you you will run backwards and get a really bad animation and it's not a good time so step two now we're taking our finger off the sprint button we are flicking the joystick back and it can be as simple as a flick. Like you can just let it click against the, the bottom of your controller and then just let it spring back into place. You guys see that stop right there? You guys see that? That is, that is the flick. It doesn't have to be anything crazy. Uh, you don't have to let go of it. I'm just showing you guys that it can be that simple uh, that you can just flick it down once, let it click against the, the bottom and that is perfectly fine. And then step three, you're just gonna get your right finger on the sprint button once again, and then move forward. And when you chain all those uh, three steps together, this is what it's gonna look like. And again, it's super simple, but if you don't practice it, you will screw it up. Now, here is the tough part, is that practice mode can sometimes give you a false sense of being able 
to do the move because in practice mode, you don't really have to take your finger off the sprint button. I'm gonna show you guys right now. I am actually holding down the sprint button right now. And in practice mode, it looks like it works just fine. If you try to take this into a game, it's not gonna work like that. We know that practice mode and the game are not exactly the same. There's these weird little differences and this is just one of those differences. Uh, if you don't believe me, I mean, you can go into a game and try it out. And I mean, maybe the patch, one of the recent patches uh, changed it, but I'm gonna bet that if you just hold down your sprint button and try to do that move, you're gonna get a bad animation, you're gonna start running backwards and you don't wanna do that. So if you really wanna just practice uh, the left stick and not worry about the sprint button, you can just hold down the sprint button start and just practice flicking the left stick back and pushing it forward again. And that might be a good introduction to the stop and go, but eventually guys, you really have to practice getting that right finger off of the sprint button because that is really key to making this work in a game is get your finger off of that sprint button. And if you're doing that, you're gonna make some awesome moves and make defenders miss in the open field. A uh, one other thing is that this doesn't have to be just running straight forward. You know, let me get some space a little bit and then we'll go uh, to the left. You, so, or sorry, you can uh, stop and go, you'll know, head into the left and you can do it the other way. You can stop and go to the right. And in this case, remember what I said in the steps, guys, you're gonna flick the joystick in the direction opposite of your direction that you're running. So if you are running to the left, you're gonna flick it to the right as you let go of the sprint button. If you are running to the right, you're gonna flick it to the left as you let go of the sprint button. Uh, it just, it functions the exact, exact same way. Uh, you can even do it running the wrong direction. I'm holding down, I can flick up for a second and then move it back down and it does the exact same thing. You can do it diagonally. Uh, it's just something that you want to come into offense only mode and just try out for yourself. And you know, you might be a little clunky with it at first, that's fine. Uh, but once you build up the muscle memory, it will start feeling really natural. And then when you finally hit one in a game, it feels great guys. So that's all I got for you. That's the stop and go tutorial. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if there's something else you want to see a tutorial on, uh, you know, in the future. And if you liked the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a great one, guys.